Hello, this is Mr. Wake, and today we will be discussing the three types of respiration. Those are the external respiration, internal respiration, and cellular respiration. By the end of this video, you should be able to define external respiration, internal respiration, and cellular respiration. Also, by the end of this lecture, you should be able to describe external respiration in detail. External respiration is the exchange of gas that occurs after inhalation and exhalation in the bloodstream. It is the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen that occurs during or while you're breathing in and out. Internal respiration is the exchange of gas that occurs between the capillary beds and the cells of your body. Cellular respiration is the process of combining sugar with oxygen and releasing energy, carbon dioxide, and water from those two compounds. Now take a moment and see if you can define the three types of respiration. Again, they are external respiration, internal respiration, and cellular respiration. Pause the video if you need more time. External respiration or ventilation occurs through the process of inspiration and expiration. External respiration can be measured using a spirometer. While air is in the lungs, alveolar gas exchange takes place. Ventilation or breathing is the movement of air into and out of the lungs using your diaphragm and intercostal muscles that are around your ribs. The diaphragm is a flattened muscular structure beneath your lungs. During inspiration or inhalation, the pressure inside the lungs decreases due to the contraction of external intercostal muscles and the diaphragm, causing the atmospheric pressure on the outside of your body to be greater and the air pressure on the inside of your body to be less. Thus, air moves into the lungs. When a person breathes in, their muscles cause their lungs to expand. Thus, allowing air to move into the lungs. During expiration, the opposite process occurs. The pressure inside the lungs increases due to the contraction of internal, not external, intercostal muscles or muscles that exist between your ribs. The relaxation of the diaphragm and the elastic recoil of the lungs tissue causes the atmospheric pressure to be less than the pressure inside of your lungs so air moves out of the lungs. Now can you describe inspiration? How about expiration? If you cannot describe these terms rewind the video and rewatch those sections. On the next lecture we will talk more about spirometry and how that is used to measure inspiration and expiration. So, goodbye for now.